That's right. How about a connection directly tied to the opening ceremony? When Team USA made their way into Olympic Stadium in Tokyo, the outfits that they were wearing had a borderland flair to them, and they were made right here in El Paso. The opening ceremony at the Olympics draws in millions of viewers, and when it was Team USA's turn to be introduced in Tokyo, they were wearing a piece of El Paso. All of Ralph Lauren's product for the Olympics are 100% made in the United States, so we were selected due to that. Border Apparel, established in 1985 right here in El Paso, supplying 613 pairs of denim jeans made to fit U.S. Olympians. The jean is tailored to have everything based on Team USA. So the waistband, the medals on it, which are the rivets, the shanks, the pockets, everything was attention to detail to show. Border Apparel, not the only company in El Paso with a hand in supplying the uniform. Sue Bird and Eddie Alvarez, Team USA's two flag bearers, wearing white jackets made by Roycom USA. The flag bearers, they have a special element. They have a cooling element that is right below the neck between the shoulders that supposedly will disperse the heat. So they will literally be the coolest athletes at the opening ceremonies. And seeing their product on the world's biggest stage, a proud moment. Finally seeing on, you know, on the athletes, it's emotional and it's, you know, you're proud of yourself. We're proud of our team 100%. The fact that Ralph Lauren has chosen to work with us to uh, made these outfits for our Olympians is, speaks tremendously highly of the skill and the craft of our employees. Made in El Paso. Now when it comes time to the closing ceremony, it'll be Roycom USA's turn to supply the pants. In fact, this is the company's second time working with Ralph Lauren for the Olympics. Just another angle on how we're covering the Tokyo Olympics. Back to you.